have to turn it down, but I just have to say my little bit here. I mean, uh, I'm here out here in um, in Haifa, Israel. I mean, you've seen Spurs take on Roma in the um, iTech Cup as well, just a pre-season friendly. And um, <clears throat> obviously we lost that back. I just wanted to say uh, congratulations to the Lionesses, the England women's team. I don't even know why I said that. Congratulations to the England team. Simple as. No need to dis differentiate between men, women. Is that, the, the women here have done what the men couldn't do since 1966. And we've been talking about 1966, therefore feels like 500 years. And they have gone out there and they've played Germany, done very well. I mean, they were stoked when they had to be, they were expressive when they had to be. And, oh, it was an absolute pleasure to watch. I mean, I wrote on my, <laughs> my page, and I wrote on my Twitter, that Serena Wiegmann needs a statue outside of Wembley for this fantastic achievement. England, European champions. It's amazing. I wish I was, I mean, obviously, I was, I'm out here in Israel, I couldn't, I couldn't be there, but, you know, I wish I was there. I didn't have tickets, but I had to give it away because I was flying out to Israel. And, um, oh, my word. Oh, my word. It is a, it is a fantastic feeling right now. Champions of England. And now, I mean, I mean if I, if I bring it on to Spurs, I mean, we've been doing our bit in, in terms of trying to uh, get the uh, our team up in, in, in a level to try and challenge for a, for a trophy, to try and challenge for Europe at least. And um, we've brought, brought in six new players, um, uh, which you might have seen in, the, in either our group or on the channel. And so we're going all, all out there. This has got to be the boost now for women's football that this country really needs. And if not now, then when, that's what I'll say. But... I just had to say that's my little bit there. Congratulations, and Serena Vivian's on the TV right now. And um, oh my word, what an amazing achievement! What an amazing achievement! Oh, can I sing it? I'm, I'm going to sing it. I am going to sing it. Campione, campione, ole, ole, ole. Campione, campione, ole, ole, ole. Well done, England. Well done, England. European champions, 2022. Amazing. The World Cup, the Women's World Cup, is going to play in Australia and New Zealand next year. Should I go? Should I try to go? Whew. That's going to be one hell of a travel, but we shall see. We shall see what happens in, this, in, that, in, that, in, that, in that um in that time frame. But oh, I've got to say it again. Well done, Serena Vig, but she's on the box right now. I mean, she's undefeated in European football. I mean, she won the last European Championships unbeaten. With a, with, a, with a Dutch team and, and she's done the same here unbeaten with England amazing this girl doesn't sorry this woman does not know how to lose so I just uh, you know <laughs> it's amazing it is amazing like I said she needs a statue outside Wembley because it's it's good. I mean, this just. I mean, this kind of. Uh, well, I know people say on social media, "Well, God, then we'll then we'll talk." You know, the, the way people like to try and, um, and dismiss a um, an achievement. But uh, if she wins the World Cup with England, then that is definitely a year, uh, a statue outside of Wembley. It has to be done. It's an amazing scenes. Amazing scenes at Wembley. I wish I was there. But well, congratulations to England. Ah, Champions of Europe, we're going to sing that. <laughs> oh, amazing.